Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am featuring the look that I wear to work almost every single day. I get a lot of questions from people asking, do you really wear all that makeup to work? The answer, yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> and I am here to show you exactly how I get ready for work every time that I go to work, unless I don't wear any makeup at all, which is something that I do sometimes to kind of give my skin a break because I have a very stressful job and sometimes my skin is not happy with me wearing all of this makeup for like 14 hours at a time sometimes. So whenever I wear makeup to work, this is how I do it. So it's very simple in my opinion. You guys actually get to see me apply like my full face, which is something you have not seen in a while. I did a voiceover tutorial for this because I just wanted to make it very quick and to the point. <laughs> Excuse me. Just show you that it's really not that difficult, at least in my opinion. <laughs> Another really big question that people ask me is what time do I get up to get ready for work? I get up at 5.30 and I'd be at work by seven. So, and it's like a half hour drive for me, like depending on the traffic, because I live in the city. So yeah, please do me a solid and subscribe to this channel before you dive right into this tutorial. Don't forget to hit that notification bell right next to that so you get notified every single time that I upload. If you're still here, if you're still hanging around, let's dive on into the tutorial. Okay, let us begin. So you guys are finally going to get to see me do my entire face, which is something I do not do on camera very often. But to start off with, I've already primed my face. We're jumping right in with foundation on a beauty blender. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I really like this foundation for oily skin. It really holds up over time and really does help combat all the oils and as you can clearly see it is very full coverage now my favorite concealer of all time one that i don't think i'll ever stop using is the shape tape i use mine in the shade natural medium honey or something along the lines i know it has medium honey in the name yes honey flip it around <laughs> here i'm just trying to show you that i flip the beauty blender to the pointier side to do underneath of my eyes and then i'm going in with the hula quickie contour stick to give a cream contour and like just I don't know why I'm struggling to describe this. I'm just trying to bronze up my face. So I have discovered that doing cream contour really provides a very natural bronze to the face as opposed to just doing powder alone, which sometimes sometimes can look kind of cakey and muddy. So this is one of my favorite ways to do it and make it look as natural as possible. So I just kind of blend it all over and ooh, look at her there. See, very natural. So to put down the first layer of powder, I am using the Cody Airspun using the pull back the forehead technique to make sure none of the tiny lines and wrinkles on my forehead get uh, set. And then I just pat it all over the rest of my face. Now I do not do my under eyes with this one, but I will do the entire face except for that area. To do my under eyes, I actually use this right here. It is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder and I just pat out the underneath of my eyes with a damp beauty blender and then apply the powder with the beauty blender underneath of my eyes. It's not a baking thing, but it does, as you can see, clearly brighten them. And then I'm using this Milani powder foundation to kind of bring some color back into my face because both of those pow powders are very translucent, kind of give a white cast. So I just use a big fluffy brush to apply that all over. So I'm using the Park Ave Princess like contour palette. You guys can obviously he see here the colors that are in it. I am using the light yellow and like whitish shades to bring back the brightness underneath of my eyes. Going in with this Too Faced chocolate soleil bronzer i had to think of the name <laughs> it's literally my favorite bronzer i don't know how i could have forgotten the name but i'm kind i'm just bringing back the bronzeness to my face with that then using a mixture of literally all four shades because i can't just pick one to do my nose contour i use this super petite brush to get it done it looks so natural and so amazing it's basically a rhinoplasty done in minutes then i take this stippling brush to kind of blend everything in because i don't like looking cakey guys i know i'm applying 20 pounds of powder but believe me i do not want to look like i'm wearing 20 pounds of powder and then I'm just applying a tiny bit of contour with that same palette and then blending it all in with that stippling brush. Using NARS Orgasm Blush. This is definitely an oldie, but a goodie. I'm just using this to put on the apples on my cheeks. I do put a tiny bit of it on my nose to kind of give that sunburnt look. And that's as good as far as we go with blush. Using Max Fix Plus to set everything into place. I really love this one, guys, because it really helps to melt everything into the skin and look so natural. So I did my eyebrows off of camera, so that leads us straight into 
to highlighting. Now I am using a palette that is not sold anymore. I'm so sorry. It is the Anastasia X Nicole Guerrero highlighting palette. Definitely one of my favorites. I just use a mixture to apply me a highlight. Now this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes, the Tartlet in Bloom palette. Oh, it is so good. And I just kind of use a mixture of colors in there. I don't necessarily use the same ones all the time. Um, I don't know if you got a good look at the palette, but a lot of the colors have been loved. And I just kind of do a little something, something very natural on my eyes. Go in with a little bit of brow bone highlight, and that's kind of it as far as my eye look goes. I do put down liner to disguise my lash line whenever I do apply lashes. Curl my lashes, speaking of. Apply a little bit of mascara, and then I will apply some lashes off of camera. The ones that I've been wearing lately are the Lash Me Ups. They are an Instagram brand that I did have the chance to get some goodies from, and Mine are in the style Wicked. So I'm just using a very nude lip liner. This one's by Buxom. And I apply the, oh my god, Gerard Cosmetics. I could not think of the name. Gerard Cosmetics Lipstick and Buttercup. This is a very old shade that I love so much. And then I just top that off with the Buxom White Russian Plumping Gloss. And that's pretty much it as far as the look goes. I'll apply a setting spray. And that's it. All done. Woo! <sighs> Guys. I know I say it in every single tutorial, but like, wasn't it easy? Not as hard as it looks. Not as time consuming as it looks. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, this is exactly how I do my makeup for work every single day, for the most part. <laughs> So if you like it, like I said in the beginning, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell right next to that. Give this video a like. Show me a little bit of support. All my socials are listed down below if you want to hang out with me on there. Hmm. I think that about covers it. Thanks for tuning into this one again, guys. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.